Hey there. Subject of product placement. It's an interesting subject for me, because I remember the first time that I had pointed out product placement to a friend of mine, well, an ex-friend now, Lonnie. I should explain why he's an ex-friend. Um, he... When I first met him, I was 17. And he would... He was sure a sexual creature then, and he really, really liked getting in the pants of... trying to get in the pants of anyone young that he knew. He'd have straight people come over and he'd try to seduce them and, and all of that. That wasn't the problem. It's what he became later on. And acts like he never changed. He went from that to being just like the, uh, the last video that I released uh, to Origin, where to even tell someone that they're attractive is considered harassment. And, uh, I didn't know he had changed that much. And one time I went over to his place, because he's bi, and was just talking about, frankly talking about the subject of women. And he used to always be so sexually uh, charged. <laughs> and he treated me like I was a, just a pile of shit because I dared to talk about the subject of sexuality with women with his girlfriend in the same room. Even though, he, like again, he used to talk about this stuff just constantly in front of her. They used to share lovers and all that, but... <laughs> so anyway, um, he would also... Every time I'd come over, it was always this long thing telling, telling me what's wrong with me. I didn't ask for his opinion of that, I just want to hang out, but it would always turn into that. And eventually, I just pleaded for him to just stop doing that. I just want to come over and enjoy his time. And he's like, no. You were really rude that one time when you came over. I'm like, I apologize for that. And I'd apologize for that like six times. Digging it in, digging it in, and I should have dug, I should have dug back and said, "Oh well, you tried to seduce me when I was 17." <laughs> you know, I just wasn't having that anymore. I wasn't going to be treated like that. He's constantly giving unsolicited advice for shit he doesn't even know that much about. So anyway, <laughs> making the story a lot longer than it needs to be. In it's probably 94. No, probably 95, I think. I had mentioned when he had the TV on, and they had... They had some sort of computer back of a, of a laptop on the screen. It's a compact. Did compact come out in 95? When did, when did compact come out? Anyway, it was, it was late enough to have compact, right? And, uh... I said, gee, I wonder how much they compact paid to have that on the screen. And he goes, don't be ridiculous. You're just saying, uh, you're just spewing uh, conspiracy theories. Said, no, I'm not. That's how this stuff works. Very scientific minded. He's one of those people that's so atheistic that if something happens amazing in front of him, he'll just pass it off. Well, this means absolutely nothing. There's no chance it could mean anything else. So, you know... <laughs> I used to look up to him so much. But, uh... That isn't the video you wanted to see. <laughs> Sorry for going on so much about that, but... That was my first real noticing of product placement and how... People would make it sound like it's a conspiracy theory just to notice this shit. So... Yeah. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, it's everywhere now. It's just common knowledge now. Well, there are some people that will probably still try to deny it, but come on. Um, and I think it's really weird when there are reruns of some sort of show and they'll superimpose a product that wasn't originally on the show, you know? It's... I don't really have a problem with product placement unless it's just totally out of place, like as if it was something that would have been on the Truman Show. If you know what that movie was, it had uh, Jim Carrey in it, and it was uh, someone raised to be a fake character that's just led around by a plot, like a whole little world was created for him and everyone in it is being paid and they're actors. But he isn't. <laughs> but he doesn't know he's just this... <laughs> been raised that way, so... You know, he'd be having a conversation with someone and suddenly they say, try a new cheer, cheer deodorant or, or whatever, right? Um, <laughs> you know, I mean, as long as product placement isn't done like that, I'm fine with it. I don't have an issue with it. Um, so, but it is everywhere. You do find it everywhere. And the people that would still be in denial of that nowadays, I'm going to say a phrase that I hate it when other people say it, but I'm going to say it myself. Go get educated. <laughs> you know? Um... Anyway, I'm not sure what more to really say about it. I, Before I made this video, I just was looking up product placement 2015, and there are some websites that are dedicated to showing product placement for, I guess, the past 15 years for every number one box office hit. And uh, you can see you can see all of that. I'll leave a link to that website in the description bar. Um, you know, I mean, it, a long time ago, commercials were acted out by the actors in the shows. You look at old programs like I don't know, the old Dick Van Dyke show. Um, and you would see them doing a commercial as almost like it was part of the show. Very similar to the Truman Show, but you knew it was a commercial, you know. A lot of black and white shows, they did the commercials right then. Live. So... So that goes beyond product placement. <laughs> so, you know, I've got no problem with product placement. Just don't, just don't fuck up the show from it, you know? <laughs> That's all I gotta say. I probably went on for too long.